Hello YouTube. Today I'll be showing you the new what's it called? Visual Studio 11 beta. And this is what it looks like. <coughs> it looks heaps different from the last one. I'll show you from the last one. I got hit right here. <coughs> it's opening on the other screen. My other monitor. Do like a comparison. This is the first time um <coughs> I just downloaded it the, download this and looking at it right now. I'm completely new to this eleven Visual Studio beta. <coughs> and it has a toolbox here. Oh, it's a normal toolbox. <coughs> at the start of the menu. Anyway. <coughs> you got file edit view. There's a lot in the view more than usual. Ooh, they have graphics debug. <coughs> Attach a process. Oh yeah, the other screen opened. Anyway, tools. SQL. Everyone knows SQL. Attach a process. <coughs> Connect database. Spy plus plus. I do not know what that is. Uh, unit test. Hmm, that's new. Very new. <coughs> This is obviously made for Windows 8 because it looks like Windows 8. <laughs> and launch performance wizard, window, float. Mm, I'm guessing that splits everything up. Mm, normal help menu. Well, that is the is the front part. Income to welcome and all that stuff. <coughs> Let's make a new project. Okay. <coughs> Everything seems greyish. Odd, oddly looking. This is for C sharp. I like C sharp. And then we have <coughs> Visual C++, Visual Basic, SQL, F sharp. I would like to try F sharp actually, but I wouldn't understand that code. <coughs> but I guess it's similar to C sharp, I guess. We got other project types, test projects, text documents, samples. They really need more languages, I think. Light switch, I have no clue what that is. Um, <coughs> template uh, creates light switch. Note, the project will not be open with this light switch. I don't know what the hell is. I'll check that out later. But we want to check out that first. While we're here, here is the old one. <coughs> the old Visual Studio. So the one on the right's pretty grey. But anyway, let's get on. Let's rename it. Um, what to do? Hello. Yeah, you, no, it's not Hello World. You're not thinking right. <coughs> As you can see, it has all this. I'm guessing that's the cloud. Uh, Word 2011 document. Oh, these are... Um, these are all extensions, add-ons for the Microsoft Office 2010. Yeah. And that's pretty good, actually. I always wanted to make an add-on <laughs> for stuff like that. Uh, you got console and all that stuff. Let's just begin. And we'll open my recent project on there too. <coughs> you can see the code and stuff. I don't even remember what it, if that was about. I think that was a web browser on the left. <coughs> this one on the left is slightly faster, even though this is creating a new project. Let's just... I don't like hiding those, hiding this. Oh, this is the Windows Presentation Foundation one. This is the normal window on the right. <coughs> and you can use either. I like Win WPFs because you can change so much so easily. <coughs> on the right, you can see it looks pretty much the same. Hook this on here, make it fit. Same everything simple. You got common. Ooh, reporting. <coughs> <coughs> on the 
on the right is the new, the latest 2011, left is the old, late, later version. <coughs> Let's increase this. All you programmers out there, you got all here. You got pointer, button, ooh, button. Let's see what the button looks like. That's a normal button. But sad face. And checkbox list. Uh, I think that's new. Uh, let's just get rid of this one. Get rid of it. Open. Slow computer. Let's just say let's open. Uh, days until my old project that I made. <coughs> and that's a checkbox. Because I know this one. No! Wait, here we go. Solution. Days until. Let's take a look. Ooh, we've only got a couple minutes left. Uh, let's take a quick look. This might be put into part one and part two of this video. References. I can't find my forms. Huh. Anyway, this is the new, the latest. Comes with all this. Toolstrip container. <coughs> uh, I remember that. Everything just looks very different. Except for this data. Got components. Components. Timer. Dialogues. Color dialogue. Save file log. And. That's. I like this new type of thing. Let's click debug, see what happens. <coughs> We're just seeing what the debug looks like on the right. Normal went normal menu. Maximize, minimize, close. You see what the start is like? Normal start. Let's see what the code is. Code looks like. Double click on that on the right. Uh -huh. <coughs> it's Cleaner, I'll just say. Yeah. Um, this is the normal C sharp menu. Let's change it to this. No, we're well not this. Hmm, what's that? Cool. Menu. <coughs> so obviously, it's pretty much the same thing. It just looks different. Yeah, it's optimized for Windows 8. The left one's optimized for the usual. I guess it's pretty new. <coughs> I reckon they just changed the look of it. It's not much of an up upgrade if you think it's not much of an upgrade. Uh, let's go. This dot text equal. This is vs. 11. <coughs> we'll debug that. It works pretty fine. And close it. <coughs> Wait, let's go back. No, nah, don't worry. Uh, we've got this. Selected lines. Oh. That's pretty neat. That button there turns it turns it into a comment. That that could that is very helpful. Look, it's no longer code; it's a comment. And uncomment lines. Turn this to uncomment. Uh, it's been uncommented heaps. There we go. It's just uncomment. What will happen if I uncomment it again? Nothing. We got toggle bookmark current line. A better looking bookmark than the 2011. And I can't find the code. The I know why I couldn't find the code. 
<coughs> because it's it's XML. But anyway, you got this. Double click. It's pretty much the same thing, but different, different. On the left, uh, got a couple of buttons here. Debug, play. Everything's all really, really squashed in. In on the left. <coughs> but you have heaps of options. This is the bookmark on here. It's not that good. And yeah, what's this do? Look, it doesn't even do nothing. Anyway, on here we have add more. You can add more buttons and stuff. And that's this is the new add new project. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's WCF. Don't know what that is. And let's see what if we want to add a new item. Project new item, and this is what the new items look like. <coughs> it's pretty all right. Code general, general, got a series of the general WPF, love those WPFs, and <coughs> That's all I can show you for now, because this video is going to about 11 minutes, almost 12. So, what do you think? Left, the left one, Visual Studio 2010, I think, and the right one is Visual Studio 11. And I think the right one, the right's a bit better, looks better, but it's not really worth an upgrade, I don't think. But, it's, this is beta on the right, by the way. And, hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. And, see you later.